Welcome to Discussions in the Afterlife. My name is Colleen. I'm Jim. Today we will discuss what happens just after we die in a little more detail. Yeah, soon after we acclimate to the afterlife, we begin to do uh, what they call redos. Yes, and of course that's their word for it. And it's a process that we've discussed earlier in different videos. Yes, and uh, it's a super curious subject for us. Uh, any process in the afterlife we find very curious. So uh, we spent we spent a lot of time on this. So this is, uh, we're gonna pick up kind of where we left off after the last video. Um, I'm in Panama at this point, and I'm asking, uh, I'm asking the house, the invisible people in that house down there, please describe a redo. Please describe a redo. And uh, in the bedroom, a man responds a normal thing. Uh, in that house, I suggest that uh, time to apologize, it's redo, so it's a time to apologize and to make amends to those we've hurt during our lifetime. And in the spare room, a fella comes out with, it's the nice thing to do. Yes, and apparently our father, when he passed away, we were asking a lot about what he's doing. How's he doing? What's he doing? Where is he? Right, and I'm in Panama, and I ask, can we communicate with our father directly rather than through people? And a person responds, no, he must complete his redos first. Yes, so about two years after our father had passed away and he had been doing his redos, um, we asked a lot of questions trying to figure out what exactly redos are all about. Right, exactly. So, I, and I asked in Panama, what exactly is a redo? And in the bedroom, a man comes out with, they help you do good. And over at the top of the steps, simply what we do. And another fellow back in the bedroom, you got your redo, and a man standing right next to him says, everything ecstasy. Huh, so completion of redos is like euphoric. It's, yeah. a, it's a really good it's, thing. It's to, a big deal. Yeah. So we hear that our father has been traveling through different studies, and, uh, and we also know that he's been working on these redos. So, of course, you know, knowing that he's traveling, uh, in one of the studies I did in Panama, I asked uh, the invisible roommates I have down there, where's he at? And in the bedroom, a man responds, he's looking at freedom. And his neighbor comes out and says, yes, indeed. <laughs> and I go on to say, I hope my father completes his redos. And a woman responds, I hope so. And a man comes out with, yes, when he fiddles real smart. So it's interesting that like the word fiddle could mean different things, but our father actually did play the violin as a young child and he called it a fiddle. He did. And so either he's um, referring to something about that or people kind of fiddle around, you know, they can kind of <laughs> skirt around things too. They're trying to get out from doing his redos maybe. <laughs> yeah, sounds like. Uh, down there in Panama, I suggest after his redos, he can kick back and relax. And a woman comes out with, I don't think so. And a man very sarcastically says, right, he will be doing that. So, right, he's, uh, you know, not going to be sitting back and relaxing. I don't think there's much relaxing in the afterlife. Right, a lot of people say rest in peace, but yeah, it's hopeful. It's... That's, I think that's hopeful from a, a human perspective. Uh, there's, that's not based in reality whatsoever. Right, there's a lot of work to do. You have to look at your life and how you conduct it yourself yeah. and then make amends. Yeah, if you're an idiot, you're gonna pay the price for it. <laughs> but uh, drawing another study down in Panama, I suggest uh, on completion of redos, you move to the next level, meaning us, that we, when we complete, we move to the next level. A woman suggests, and company, a man comes out with, that's the point you gotta get, brother. 
and another woman says freedom. So, I mean, yeah, so when you complete your readings, you're not moving to the next level necessarily. Right, but you might be moving to different company. You're no longer with, you know, the people that were helping you with your redos, like our, our relatives were, we to were told that they were helping him. With his redos, perhaps he's with other people that he'd, you know, kind of hang out with if he had the choice. Yeah, some of his old party, party buddies. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so sometime before, we heard a woman say that Jim was given a package and of course, I'm picturing something from FedEx. And it just, Jim, we gave you a package, is what the woman said. And I don't know, it, as it turns out, it turned out to be like an employment package. I got benefits for coming back as a human this time around. And, but it took me a while to figure it out. This is, this is kind of how it went down. I was doing a study in that house in, in Panama, and I asked, what's the package? And a person responds, looks like fancy part of the redo. And of course, you know, we don't hear any of this in real time. So we listen to the recorders, we make notes, Colleen and I swap notes, double check each other. And then I do another study and I ask, what is the fancy part of the redo? And a guy responds to his neighbor, careful. He knows just enough. All right, so you don't want to get caught overstepping the boundaries or talking about something that you're really not supposed to share with us right. and give us too much help or too much information. Yeah, they can't give us too much, right? Or they're, so, they're getting in trouble. Exactly, and they're yeah. aware of us collecting and hearing this information, obviously. Right. So I did, uh, and I did ask, does fancy part of redo make sense? And over at the top of those steps, uh, a male comes out with, fancy part is real. And a woman right next to him says, my God, it's willed to you. In the spare room, a man comes out with, fancy part is you completely knowing what you are going to do. Right, so there's some mystery around your redo. Yeah, I think that guy is going to get his ass kicked for giving all that information <laughs> there's away. There's a lot said there. So, yeah, the fancy part is, is I'm going to know. the mist There's no mystery in my redos when I pass over there again. Part of my package was to eliminate that mystery. Right, which I would assume would be less stress, you know, less anxiety, and maybe that's the hardest part of redos because you don't know what you're going to be shown next that you well, messed up on. Or... I think mystery indicates uh, a little bit of fear. Right. It keeps you on the edge. It's a little scary. Mm -hmm. But, uh, well, well I, I got a leg up on you. <laughs> <laughs> well, do me a favor and subscribe. And like what we do and share it with everybody. Yeah, and you can ask questions too. There's a place you can type right on the on the YouTube channel. You can ask us questions and we, uh, we might pick up some and ask them your questions. So thank you very much. Uh, take care and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care.